Top Democrat Senators Chuck Schumer, Bob Menendez, Dick Durbin now plan to make border and immigration reform a top legislative priority if Joe Biden wins the election. Ma Mexico is now battling an historically violent and powerful drug cartel. It is now gaining traction and influence in U.S. cities that now want to defund the police. It's the Jalisco cartel. It's now setting up shops, setting up drug distribution centers in cities, now moving to defund the police. Cities like New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Atlanta. Joining me now is Republican Greg Stubbe. He sits on the House Subcommittee on Immigration and Citizenship. Uh, citizenship. Sir, what's a Democrat plan to battle that? Well, th this is the party of open borders. Now, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to have an increase in crime when you defund the police. So it's first open borders is their theme, and now it's defund the police. What did they think actually the leaders of these cities would happen if you move a billion dollars in New York City from the police department? They've had 205 shootings just in the month of June, which is a record number back to 1996. I don't really understand what these leaders in these Democratic cities think is going to happen when you defund anti-crime units and move that money not to law enforcement, which is why you just had earlier in your segment, that's why the police union supports our president, President Trump. This is gang violence. This is revenge shootings going on. This drug cartel controls the movement of more than a third of all drugs consumed in the U.S. It's expanded into Europe and Asia. And the Jalisco cartel is so powerful, Mexico now says it's a threat to its own national security. Congressman, it's going where the Pablo Escobar cartel never went. It's using shoulder rocket launchers to take down Mexico's military helicopters. It's killed judges and congressmen. Again, the Pablo Escobar drug cartel never did things like that. Your reaction? Well, and you have Democrats in the policing bill wanting to take militarized equipment away from Border Patrol and from ICE. You have Democrats filing bills to defund ICE and defund Border Patrol and defund Homeland Security, the very agencies that are defending our, our borders and defending our country from these gang members coming across the line. There were 16,000 gang members that were arrested in the last three years under Trump, President Trump's administration. What do you think would happen if you defunded ICE and defunded Border Patrol? You, you think there's a rise in crime in New York City now? Wait until that happens. Yeah, let's listen to the president talk about his new initiative and his administration's initiative to take on deadly gangs like the MS-13 gang. Here's the president today. Let's listen. We've just concluded a historic operation leading to the arrest and indictment of dozens of savage MS-13 members and leaders all across the country. So this is something that's taken place over the last few days. This week's actions by the Joint Task Force Vulcan is the most recent offense to — we really — this has been a big offensive in my administration's war on foreign gangs. Yeah, and the president's saying also expect an announcement next week with the attorney general and FBI about crime in cities as well. Your reaction to all of this? That's exactly what a president should be doing. That's exactly what we need here in America is being tough on crime and controlling our borders against gangs. All right. Congressman, thanks for joining us. I'm thanks Elizabeth McDonald.